us kinky, coily, curly babes have definitely dealt with split ends, single strand knots, dryness, brittleness, weak hair, and all these other characteristics that we do not like. Well, there's this one method that if you don't do it, I'm encouraging you to try it out. Hot oil treatments. It can help with all of that. I'm not saying it can get rid of it, but it can definitely keep it at a minimum. Let's talk about it. Now, before checking in, Lego. Proverbs 19, verse 23. The fear, in some versions say the reverence, of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. Some versions say not visited by evil. Amen. You see the road? You already know what's about to happen. Wash day! Wash day. So let's get started. Candle. Mm-hmm. Next we need music. Alexa, play coffee house jazz. Playing coffee house jazz. Cozy and mellow instrumental jazz and chill music for work. Study. Home office. Cafe. Relaxing by Jazz Cafe Lounge background music from Spotify. Okay. All right, y'all, it's your girl Nappy Foo all up on your screen. Let's get into this. Quick disclaimer, if you deal with a dry, itchy scalp, flaky scalp, I recommend you do a patch test first because oil on your scalp might not be a good friend to you, okay? So do a patch test before you try this. Hot oil treatments have been around for the longest, y'all. It's a simple DIY treatment that can reap a lot of benefits. Today's oil of choice is coconut oil, and I also added a little bit of amla powder to it. I am gonna use these two simple ingredients, my hot oil and some warm water. Because I have low porosity, I'm gonna spritz my hair with water a little bit first to kind of raise those cuticles up, just a little smidget, little smish smidge. And then after that, I will be applying the oil. Now, when it comes to creating your hot oil treatment, you don't want it to actually be hot. You know what I'm saying? Use a little common sense, y'all, okay? Don't burn your scalp. I've actually seen videos of people complaining about that happening. And the first thing I'm thinking to myself is why did you actually make it hot? Like I know the title is hot oil treatment, but girl, come on now. So you wanna make sure it is warm. So let's call it warm oil, oil treatment, okay? This is the main way I mainly do it. I do not warm it up in a microwave because that's kind of hard to gauge on how hot it gets. I do boil water. I put that boiled water into a um, heat safe bowl. Then I take the bottle of my oil of choice and I put it into that bowl and I let it sit there until the oil warms up. And then it's ready for use. I'm not one of those. Easily can open up. Okay, so I covered earlier that hot oil treatments is not necessarily for growing the hair. It's also not for moisturizing the hair, okay? But it can help with moisture retention. However, the level in which it helps depends on how much you do it. It's not a one and done. Mm -mm. You stay consistent, you see better results, especially on your ends. So it definitely is, it definitely helps to aid and withered ends, single strand knots, and split ends, okay? Right now, you see me putting my hair into sections, and I would say that is step number one. If you feel there is a need for sections in your hair, section that sucker out. It just makes it easier to work in what? Sections. The next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and just dampen your hair. Some people like to do hot oil treatment on cleansed hair, as in they shampoo first, and then they put the oil. Meal, I don't do it but I will dampen my hair first to get it more palatable. And as a fellow low porosity babe, okay, I use the warm water to help to get the cuticles to start to lift a little bit. Notice I didn't say raise, but lift a little bit. Another reason I don't necessarily shampoo my hair first is because I do treat this as a um, pre-poo as well because you know my oil of choice is normally coconut oil because of its molecular weight, it does go into the cuticles of our hair so that's why i'm still a fan of coconut oil all right so after my hair is sectioned i just pretty much work in each section and i apply my hot oil treatment to each section some people might say i am afraid but i just do things my own way i don't know why because i don't like 
love to work my oil in because I love doing the whole scalp massaging thing. Y'all know how I feel about scalp massages. I have a whole video on the different ways to massage your scalp. This is really where the whole saying of oil makes your hair grow. It's if you're massaging your scalp while applying oil. It's really the massaging that stimulates that stimulates the hair growth that people talk about, okay? That moving of the fingers and into the skin, it jumps up the blood vessels in the area, which says, oh, okay, we got some action going on. Hold on now. And then you start. <laughs> and then, of course, with consistency, it's not a one and done. With consistency, you can see some results. And that results normally um, is in the form of growth and maintaining growth. So just keep that in mind. Easy. Sometimes they don't see what defines me But I don't need them all to see Cause I got you Everybody else makes me feel small And done and lost But you're not like everybody else at all You're the only one who makes me talk And walk so tall Cause you're not comes to hot oil treatments and really just oil use generally um it's always good to stick with what we call what is called plant-based oils or plant oils um that's normally your almond oils olive oils coconut oil and so forth um a lot of these oils have been proven well specifically two oils i know for sure is coconut and olive oil that has been proven to um penetrate the hair shaft because of the molecular weight of it. So just keep that in mind. Now, although it is good to use plant-based ingredients, plant-based oils, it doesn't mean it could not, it doesn't mean it won't affect people who have sensitive skin. So it's always really good to look for oils that are 100% natural and have no synthetic ingredients in it. And again, for those who have sensitive skin, just to make sure the oil you're trying to use will not end up affecting you later on, do a patch test. Yeah, girl, do a patch test with oil. Yes, ma'am, okay. Put that sucker on, wait 24 hours, and see what's going on in that area. If it's all clear, then you're good to go. If you see some type of reaction, it's a no. You're no one of those who judge before they know somebody. I just feel at home. So after I've done with each section, I do go back again and I give a little bit more TLC to my troubled areas. For me, it's the middle of my head, the front of my head and my edges. So I go back and I do add more product, although I don't really have to add more oils already enough on there. But, you know, I kind of want to finish the bottle. So I do go back, add a little bit more and massage that sucker in. <laughs> might be wondering is hot oil treatment right for me like is it an extra stuff I'm willing to do well possibly it helps with brittleness it helps color treated hair it helps controlling frizziness it helps to help with split ends whether in in those single strand knots so it's possibly something you can use it's not a necessary step towards healthy hair but it is a booster to your hair regimen it boils down to the type of oil you want to use if you tend to always feel an oily residue when you use something like coconut oil or olive oil then you might be a candidate for oils with less fattiness in it so look into jojoba oil or something like almond oil. What I use might not work for you. What you use might not work for me. But the method, for example, doing a hot oil treatment can work for us both. You like to take things slow, never stressing anybody. That's just how I roll. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right, my scalp is feeling good and stimulated. Oh. Okay, but anyway, last but not least, you're gonna let this sit on your head. No less than 30 minutes, y'all. Like, you know, you can do 15, 20 if you want, but I definitely recommend no less than 30 minutes. Do some stuff around the house. Add another heating source. For me, it's this knockoff hot head, but it can be a plastic bag, a heating cap, your satin scarf, whatever you wanna do just to kinda keep that heat generating. This is how much I have left over, and I plan to add it to my deep conditioner. Cause we don't waste anything over here, okay? We sure don't. And then after 30 minutes or so of letting the hot oil sit, guess what? 
you're ready to start your wash day, okay? Go ahead and rinse it out and follow suit. What's your next step? Shampooing, right? So go ahead and get to the shampooing, follow by a deep conditioner, and your styler. I love wash day. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and leave y'all with the next video to watch. Go ahead and binge on my wash day videos or my styling videos. Speaking of videos, I hope today's video was helpful to you. Let me know by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. And I will see y'all on the next one, okay? Until then, remember my sister, my cousin, my friends, in order to have healthy hair, you guys to do healthy things consistently. Happy food checking out. Deuces.